All right, everybody, Mr. Wolf here with another video. Sorry about the lights behind me. They're a little bright. Wish I could make them less bright. <laughs> but I think that's it's as dim as I can really make it right now. But anyways, hopefully you can see me. Um, the last few videos that I made, we were doing throwing. Okay, we were doing overhand throwing, underhand throwing, and if you went to live, we did some sidearm as well. Uh, today... For this week, for this video, we're going to be doing something called catching. I think some of you know what catching are. Most of you probably have heard of it. Uh, catching is where you are receiving an object being thrown to you. So if a ball is coming to you, you catch it. I'll show you what that looks like. Now, three things for catching before I show you what you can practice for me. is The first thing is keep your eye you know, on the ball. Look at what it is. So don't keep your eyes off of the object. If the object is coming to you, keep your eyes on the object. So make sure you're looking at it. Okay. The second thing is to reach. You don't want to just keep your hands close to you. You want to reach out. You want to reach up. Okay. You want to reach. And the third thing is to use two hands. Okay, I know some of us can catch with one hand, but we really should be catching with two. Uh, that's good practice. So, in your ball bag that you have, if um, assuming you have it, if you don't have a ball bag, you're going to have to use something else at home. Um, we have a two, we have a two items in the ball bag. We have a scarf and we have a bean bag. You could use either or for your catching practice. Okay. So the scarves, they float a little longer in the air, so it gives you more time to look at it. And then these bean bags, they're a little bit quicker. Uh, they hit the ground a lot faster. So don't forget the three things, which is look, reach, and use two hands. Okay? So I'm going to have to angle my camera here a little better. So the scarf, all you got to do is just take your hand, throw the scarf up in the air. Reach, catch with two hands. Make sure you're looking at it. We always want to catch with two hands. Sometimes you see someone catching with one hand, but that's really hard. And you should really practice two hands as a kid. Okay, and then as you can see, the scarf just kind of floats. It gives me a lot of time to go ahead and catch the scarf. So for those of you that want to take it nice and easy. The scarf is a good way to get started. And then the last equipment is the bean bag. Okay, the bean bags are a little heavier and they do not float in the air. They just go straight to the ground as soon as you throw it. So don't forget the three things again. I'll say the three things one more time for you. Go ahead and pause the video if you know if you remember the three things and you can go ahead and uh, test yourself. The three things are to look, to reach, and to use two hands. That's the three things that we're going to be focusing on for catching. So now, same thing that you saw with the scarf, except with the bean bag. Don't forget to reach. Get those arms out. And that is catching. So that's what you're going to be practicing today is throwing it up in the air, whichever object it is, and you're going to be catching with two hands. Okay, don't forget to look and don't forget to reach. Really reach out to grab it or to catch it, I mean, because that's going to be good practice for you as you get older. So thanks for watching. Hope you made it through to the end of the video. And with that, have a great rest of your day. See ya.